Hello viewers of the People Systems channel. My name is Daniel and today, yes, we are reviewing a fresh high vision IP door station representatives of the Villa series. KV8213, 8213 and 8413. We begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Well, in general, a simple and solid column panel, and that's what I really like about it. In review, I'm gonna focus on the middle version with two buttons that I've got here in my hands, because after all, this is a sole difference between all three versions. 81 for one button, 82 on two buttons, and 84 on four buttons. And that's what I like about high vision product mockings. Everything is just clear. So. The box contents, technically, everything is identical with all three versions. And inside the box, as you can see, we've got a door station along with a metal color front frame for it. And here's a package with quick stock guide. There's also a mountain sticker up here, a mythic card for testing, the one that's uh, white, two packs with screws and anchors, a tiny screwdriver and a hexagon, here is it. Now, here we got also these four screws for fastening the main panel. The door station itself has a microphone on it here and a speaker here, these are the grills, which are creating us two-way communication. So here we have a three-digit indication. The outgoing call, communication takes place and entry is allowed. The camera module is, oh, let me get this up, is 10 megapixel Full HD 1080p capable of recording at 30 FPS. The view angle is 128 degrees, which is good. And here's a video for reference to show you how the recording looks in a maximum quality on the main stream. And here, accordingly, we have two buttons that are tied with specific subscribers, well, to perform calls. And here we all know what, a card reader supporting a Mifa type of cards. And apparently there is something from Xeer type of infrared illumination here because we have two low visible infrared LEDs located on left and right inside to be as less noticeable as possible. And so on the back, after the rear plastic frame is removed, we have revealed a micro SD. There is it input card slot with a maximum capacity of 128 gigabytes. And there's a deep box port there it is. What remains is a tamper button on the back and what we have in the bottom it's the RG45 for the LAN cable there is it and by the way our call panel supports POE feature thus we can give on it a power and network via one LAN cable from the POE switch however we can easily bring here 12 volts power supply that will go here too somewhere here yes and here yes the terminals for connecting doors one and two here are the inputs for alarm sensors and here's the RS485 interface it's all just here KV8215 also has Wi-Fi support, a software level motion detection, IP65 protection rate against water and dust, and anti-vandal protection of IP08 level. What I really like about the door station is that it is standalone and universal. It is suitable for both home and more professional applications. And the panel can work and give out a calls directly into the IBM S1 PC in Mobile Heat Connect app and can also be connected to the concierge and the master station and several monitors like this one. So, for, like, yeah, for instance. And now we are going to add a mythic custody door station and load up the data into it. Activate it, bind it to the IDMS account on the PC, hit connect on the phone, and also bring it out to the monitor and test it. Let's get to it. All right, to set this all up from a PC, this is what we have. We need the IVMS 4200's high vision main software to activate, to add, to work with all the high vision appliance. So, I've got here the monitor I'm gonna use. It just doesn't matter which monitor do you have. Uh, it just, it, it has to be just a network, yeah? All right, not analog. So, here we have, here we have our uh, Villa door station and it is inactive. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna activate it right now. Checking the box and activating with the password I use for every single video. Because, yeah, just like this. Device was activated. Great. Now we are going to press. Uh, now we're gonna I modify the network settings because I want it to work in my subnet. 
So that's what I do. One, and here's the same one, six, eight, one, one. I mean, you're probably, maybe, definitely gonna have uh, another IP address, another subnet address. So that's what you do. Input your, and input the password to, modif to finish the modifying. We go have the completed, seven success, active, and with the correct IP address. Now adding, naming it door, naming it door station, with the big, and inputting the password, pressing synchronize time, pressing add. Great, we just have it done. What we do now? As it is activated, we're gonna show that to monitor. So we go into monitor settings by pressing this cog button. Like earlier it was the remote configuration, but with the newest version, it goes like this. And here we go to the network and link network configuration. From here, it's one nine. Uh, and of course, here we input in the IP address of our door station. So that's one six eight one six five and uh, also, in the security control IP address or the center, I want to uh, specify my PC that goes under 22, which is what we need. And of course, here in main door station type, you select main door station V series because this is the villa. Getting the success message that was saved. Fantastic. Now, what we're going to do now, I add a person and assign that to that person a MIFA card because of course we have here some access control and that is possible to do via this MIFA card so the person doesn't don't have to call to anyone now that is what we do we press person here I have the organization people I'm pressing add to add a person the ID would be first uh, it's gonna be me Daniel email whatever dot mm, gmail.com okay Telephone, whatever, two. The card, pressing plus and card number. Going to settings, pressing card reader and selecting my door station device. Okay, now I'm gonna um, press read and now I'm gonna put my MIFA card over the ready reading area uh, on the exact uh, door station. So press read. You hear this beep and that means the card was read. Okay. Adding, fantastic. Now, access control, no, next one, resident information, bending the device, and I'm bending the monitor to assign it. Room one, call number one. So it's, uh, yeah, it's not a lot to choose here. We have got only like two options. Okay, pressing add, great. Now we have a person number one, Daniel, with the assigned MIFA card, room, floor, uh, into this system, but now, we got to upload this new information into the uh, door station. For that, we open the access control tab, and here we have the authorization tab. Here we press add, select our organization, and you can see that we have also selected a Daniel that was under people organization. All right, now as the access point, we select door station, door, door one, door station, and saving. Oh, naming. <laughs> door one all right saving now checking and pressing apply all to device i'm going to see the progress bar in a new window pop up result applying and all applied and that means that we have just uploaded the data uh with our person with our organization for the access control on the, on the uh, Villa Door Station uh, KV8213, which is just great. And if you want to add more people, the instruction is right identical, except that you're going to uh, select other room, other floor, and other person ID for other numbers like 2, 3, 4, 5, and you got it. Now, let me demonstrate you all the stuff. Now, that's what we got. Let me show you just that. I'm pressing the first call button. And I'm getting called to a uh, first assigned person, which is Daniel. Hello, that's right, me. Now I'm gonna open the door right from here the door is open. and see the indication here and the indication here. Now I'm gonna answer the call. Hello, buddy. 
turn it off. But you've seen that indication right over here. Yes, that's, that's just what I wanted to show you. Okay, and of course we can go to live view, main door station, and view it from here. Open. The door is open. Open from the door is open. this key, and also call. Hello. Drop. All right. All right, all right. And of course, the access control functionality. As you remember, we have assigned one person with this one key. This is a Mayfair card. Well, you may not tell this from the looks, but anyway. The door is open. The door is open. Let me just do it one more time. The door is open. And it's open for Daniel. And it could be like a lot of Daniel for this. And now let's sum this whole thing up. Yeah. Concluding, the door stations that we've got today are simple and convenient. No frills, but it performs all its functions good and solid. I like that it is standalone, inexpensive and versatile. In the people system store, we've got a lot of those stations like today's sample monitors like this one, IP cameras, alarm systems and many, many other devices and brands. And if you indicate that you are our subscriber, we will make a more interesting offer for you. So uh, as always, need help, questions, descriptions of your task are always welcome in the comment section below the video and not a single one will go unanswered. Thank you for watching.